And it's officially the first day of summer and it sure feels like it. Meteorologist Corey Smith is out at Shelby Farms Park where plenty of people are taking in the longest day of the year. Corey, how's it feeling out there? <laughs> you know, Danielle, definitely a little bit on the hotter side, but we've seen plenty of people enjoying the weather. Uh, like you said, the very first day of summer, and if we take a look at the time that the sun is up today, it goes uh, pretty long from 546 a.m. to 817 p.m., the longest day of the year. A little bit of a fun fact, our latest sunset, though, is going to be tomorrow, just a minute later. So something we'll be looking forward to there. Uh, but let's talk about summer, why it's happening, and it all comes down to space. Our planet is uh, rotating around the sun here and as it does that uh, we start to see some changes and there's a little bit of a, a cool interesting thing it, 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 that you might not know this time of the year the sun is actually the furthest from the earth it's actually closer in the winter months I know that doesn't make a ton of sense so let's talk about why this is the hottest time of the year and it all comes down to how the earth rotates on its axis that axis it tilts about 23.5 degrees so off of center and that means sometimes of the year we get more sunshine some less and of course winter will get less sunshine and as we head towards the summer months we're going to see that tilt towards the sun and that means that we are hotter our days are longer as well and that's currently what we're seeing as of right now so even though we have the longest day currently that means our temperatures are going to start to lag a little bit because we're still getting enough sunshine to heat up over the next couple of months if we take a look at average temperatures here across the mid-south what that really looks like as we go throughout your summer months late july into august is when we see that peak heat so we still have a ways to go and I will say some bad news we're losing daylight after today but if you want to be optimistic about it we're only 185 days away from gaining that sunshine back as you get into winter but for now guys uh, live in Shelby Farms Park I'm AC 24 meteorologist Corey Smith all right Corey stay cool out there I know it is a hot one well now